boy oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy let's get into this uh, it took me about 12 to 14 hours to think about this but i'm gonna tell you something b john robinson is the perfect fit for this fan base y'all about to hear me out y'all gonna have to listen to this please take the time to listen to this b john robinson was pick number eight overall for the atlanta falcons Everybody was kind of worried about the whole Jalen Carter situation, Nolan Smith. I wanted Nolan Smith, but I end up being 100% sold on this B. John Robinson pick. And I'm about to tell you guys why. You Falcon fans, the ones who wanted Lamar Jackson, you got him in B. John Robinson. Yes, I said it. Y'all who wanted Lamar Jackson, you got him in B. John Robinson. B.J. Robinson is Lamar Jackson that can catch. He's just, he, 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 he's just Lamar Jackson, but he's not throwing the football. He can run. He can catch. He has breakaway speed. He's dynamic. And he can do more than just being decisive out of the backfield. Exactly what Lamar Jackson does, but he doesn't throw the football. And he's perfect for Desmond Ritter. Perfect for Desmond Ritter. People want to look down on Desmond Ritter because he wasn't a first round pick. He's not picked in the top 10 of the of the draft, or whatever the case may be. But you know what Arthur Smith and company has done? Arthur Smith and company has done a phenomenal job. They put talent all around Desmond Ritter. Now, what that being said is, he can't fail. If he fails, that means he's worse than Marcus Mariota. Now, let me let me tell you this here. Do you think he's going to be worse than Marcus Mariota? Honestly. Especially with the weapons that we have. And you got B. John Robinson there that can catch, he can run, he's dynamic, he can break tackles, he can break ankles. He's exactly what we uh, what we uh need. Especially for the, the people who like Lamar Jackson, should they, they should have nothing to say at this point. Nothing. Now, let's look at the other side. Oh, we should have got Jalen Carter or whatever the case may be. Look, I, look, I'm not necessarily against that. But, you know, yeah, he carried a little bit of baggage. And some people was kind of worried about that. Now, David Arnamaya, K. Nellis, Bud Dupree. Um, I think we got another linebacker that we picked up. We, uh, uh, we still had Arnold Evacante, Taquan Graham, who did go down to Texas to see um, B. John Robinson along with Arthur Smith and uh, and uh, Terry Fontenot. We, that, that says volumes about how the, the front office loved their players. They may not want to admit it, but they really like their players. But when you look at the front seven of this defense, you may want to say they're mid, you may want to say they're average, maybe you want to say they're old. I ain't even mentioned Calais Campbell. But all of these guys, for right now, can equate to whatever you think you was going to get out of Jalen Carter. You got the defensive coordinator who brought two of his guys over from the Saints. You bought a veteran with Calais and Calais Campbell. You have Arnold Evacante who can step up. I think he's going to have a pretty good second year with all these other pieces. You got all of these guys um, at the linebacker situation. Lorenzo Carter. You got um, Troy Anderson. I mean, we, we got the pieces that we necessarily, to be honest, didn't need a Jalen Carter. I'm 100% sold on this B. John Robinson pick. 100%. I'm in because he's exactly what these uh, people who said, oh, we needed Lamar Jackson. He's exactly what we, uh, what you guys wanted. He's exactly what you wanted. You, you, Y'all don't have to like this, this video. That's fine. But I'm sold on it because he's everything that, the, the, that Lamar Jackson can do except for throw the ball. But he, got, he gives out the same type of production. The only difference is he's not throwing the ball. And I don't think that he's going to be as injury prone as Lamar Jackson. Somebody please tell me if I'm wrong. 
I, I, I'm open to listen to anybody because I don't do the back and forth with fans or whatever the case may be. But I feel on this one, it's very hard to delineate from B. John Robinson and Lamar Jackson. Yes, Lamar can throw the ball. Well, B. John Robinson can catch the ball. He's more than just a running back. Just like some people say, you know, Lamar Jackson is more than a quarterback. He's dynamic. B. John Robinson is dynamic. The only difference is, like I said, he's not throwing the football. Now, don't be surprised if there's a fake uh, a, a, a fake uh, toss play where B. John may throw the ball to a Kyle Pitts. You never know. I'm just putting that out there. But I'm just saying, what do y'all think, people? What do y'all think? Like, like, am I tripping? Am I really tripping on this one? Because I thought about this for the last, you know, 12, 14 hours. I thought about it while I was at work. And I was like, you know what? I'm sold on this. This is this is Christian McCaffrey. This is Alvin Kamara. This is Saquon Barkley. He could put up numbers between him and Desmond Ritter. Tyler Algier. That backfield is going to be all right. It's going to be all right. Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Shout out to everybody who's been watching the podcast. I really appreciate it. Thank you guys for all the support. I really appreciate that as well. We're going to look at day two of the draft tonight. Give my thoughts and opinions on that. And uh, that's pretty much going to be it, man. I'm going to get up out of here, get to the house. Y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. And we'll see each other again soon. Y'all take it easy and y'all be blessed. Peace.